What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the MG Cup Series here on Fox Sports 1. We are at Michigan for a doubleheader weekend, getting ready to kick things off here. So here we go. Yep. It's going to be exciting. The 11 of the Amlins on pole, because of course he is. He's got a knack for these bigger um, racetracks, like Pocono and Auto Club. Apparently Michigan as well. To his outside is the 48 of Jimmy Johnson, the 17 of Matt Kenseth that lines up a row behind them with his teammate, the 99 of Carl Evers. And rounding out the top five is Tony Stewart with the eight of Dale Jr. starting six to his outside. So most of these guys towards the front um, have uh, started or raced yesterday in the Grand National Series race. So uh, they have a little bit of experience and kind of know how this race is going to go. They know they need to be in position because they got pretty uh, single file there towards the end. So they knew, they knew they had to be in position to try and win it. I'm sorry, anyway. <laughs> Here we go. Green flag in the air. We are racing from Michigan. <clears throat> and one car already having issues and smoking. Not even going to be able to take the green flag, and he's out. I believe that's the 01 of Joe Nemechek. Check. Yep, it is need to check. We're gonna get a good flyby here as we head down in the turns. One and two once again as we complete the first lap. A little bit of contact there. One car got loose. Headed down towards the bottom of the racetrack. He saves it. The 43 of Labonte. Looked like it was down on the apron. Look at these guys flying around here at upwards of 220 miles an hour. Or 215 at least. Yeah, I believe they're topping out at about 220 down the front stretch as the car is popping off the outside wall there. Man, now this is the this is some real speed. Man, look at these guys absolutely flying. One car into the wall. Tony Stewart joins them. It's Kevin Harvick and Tony Stewart in the outside wall. And more contact being made. They're going to hang on to it. Jimmy Johnson's got some damage to the left side of his car as well here. Harvick was in the race yesterday as well. Kurt Busch, your winner from yesterday. Driving the two car. Kind of riding around towards the back. Didn't have the greatest qualifying. Going, so. Shuffling around at the tail end of the field. Another car hits the wall, Kyle Busch. Now down the back straightaway once again. Look at Brian Vickers. What was that? comes Reed Sorensen on the very bottom of the racetrack. Has no help. Couldn't make it work down there. Oh boy, more cars into the wall. Hamlin and Casey Mears got up into the wall there. Forty-one trying it again on the inside of Clint Boyer. Into the wall goes the 31 and upside down. Jeff Burton on his side. More cars coming in. A vicious wreck for Matt Kenseth and Jeff Burton. And look at that. The one of Truex is destroyed. Now shuffling around down the back straightaway. All bunched up as the field heads through three and four. Four wide. More contact being made. Are they going to 
survive. Looks like they will sort it out. As they try to get by Dale Jr. now, who has heavy damage and the yellow flag waves. Some wild stuff here. Oh, and contact with the caution. Are they gonna save it? Yes, they will. Thank goodness. Val Wolf in the 86 car about got shuffled up into the outside wall. But she is able to hang on to it. Caution is out. Travis Quapple is done. It looks like a few other cars will be joining him. Matt Kenseth, Greg Biffle. I didn't even see Biffle. He's got heavy damage on that 16 car. Let's see what happened as they headed towards turn one here. They squeeze together into the wall. Goes to 31 and the 17. And it looks like Burton's tire may have caught the wall. I'm not sure. But the car popped up onto its side. Starts riding the wall. And then, oh man, this is where it gets brutal right here. A big hit from Truex. Sends the back end of Kenseth's car around into the roof of the 31 car. Caving in the right side. Thank goodness it was the right side, not the driver's side. Just a little bit. And, oh man, more and more cars just start piling in getting flipped and then here's where Quapple gets his bit of damage right there and that's gonna take him out get all the debris all over the racetrack there carnage heading into turn Bush is out. Matt Kenseth out. Jeff Burton. Martin Truex. Michael Waltrip. All these guys that raced yesterday. Done. Travis Quapple done as well. So now your new race leader is Jeff Gordon. How about that? I ain't mad at that. Hey, I'll take a Jeff Gordon win any day. Now we've doubled them back up. Jeff Gordon and Reed Sorensen make up your front row as we are about to get back underway here from Michigan. Martin up in the second place. Here comes Sterling Marlin, his son Stedman running this race as well. He's further back in that 30 car back there. He raced earlier, or yesterday as well. And he's going to get swallowed up now. He's stuck in the middle, no help. But a couple cars hitting the wall. And Carl Edwards' rear end is destroyed now because of some contact there. And as well as his teammate Jamie McMurray. Into the wall goes Hamlin and around goes... Brian Vickers down the back straight away. That's going to bring out the yellow flag once again. As we've also got debris on the track. So even though that spin itself may not warrant a caution. Or will it? No, we're still green. Looks like the debris is cleared up. are still green. Unbelievable. I cannot believe it. We actually are going to make it more than two laps under green. So the green, we're still racing. So Jeff Gordon, your leader. Looks pretty comfortable right about now. Brian Vickers, yeah. Poor Vickers. Not going to get a caution for that. So I thought for sure we were getting the yellow. I just can't believe it.
right down the back stretch. We're gonna take a quick break. We'll be right back after this. And of course, the second I do that, we get a caution. So we are back and we are under caution. Why? We are about to show you if I can find it. If I can't find it, then oh well. But it shouldn't be too hard to find it. I mean, it's literally a caution, which has to be caused by something. So yeah. There we go. Oh, Hamlin and Mears into the outside wall in turns one and two. That's what brings out the second caution flag of the day. Been a pretty clean race compared to yesterday, at least. Green flag back in the air. And we're racing once again. Cars all up against the wall there. Everybody on the outside line scraped the wall. They followed each other into the wall. screen is riding around this track here 220 miles per hour this definitely is the fastest track on the schedule Looking underneath Robbie Gordon, a little bit of, almost made a little bit of contact there. Single file, so what we're going to do is jump through into the air and not single file, and there we go. How about Mike Bliss? Up into the mix here as well. Never a good thing to see. Scott Wimmer. Oh boy. Watch out, boys. Look out, look out, look out, look out, look out, look out. Scattering. Oh, Stedman. Wrong time to pull out. And there goes Kurt Bush getting held up as well. Oh, man. How did we make it out of that? So now the top two have pulled away is Jeff Gordon and Jimmy Johnson. Jimmy Steele, another one of Jeff wins. Jeff's wins away. We're about to find out here. Coming at 10 laps to go. There's 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5 laps to go. This will be all Jeff Gordon's race right now. But here comes another Gordon. Robbie Gordon. No, not related, but still. Common, la common last name. And... Here comes Jimmy Johnson once again. Now Jimmy has got a fast race car. He's looking to the inside of Robbie Gordon. Robbie about turned himself on the block there. Jimmy moves to second with ease. Here comes Casey Kane with a run. How about Casey looking for another win this season? He's won two of the crown jewels. Getting his two first career wins. He's looking for another one. Oh no, Jeff! 
That's Scott Wimmer once again. Way off the pace is Wimmer. I'm surprised he's still even allowed to race out here. What's the minimum speed? I, I'm not sure what the minimum minimum speed is, but he's got to barely be hitting it if he's out here right now. So man, Jeff Gordon trying to hang on to that lead, but it has shrunk because of lap traffic, and now the eight of Dale Jr., where is he going to go? Jr.'s going to stay high. Gordon's going to have to go low down the back stretch here. Uh-oh. 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 He's going to catch him at a bad time. I don't like the looks of this. I apologize for the seizure-inducing camera switching that I'm doing right now. I'm just heightening the drama. Oh boy. You can see them in the in the shot. They're in the same frame now. This ain't good. This ain't good. Go high, Jeff. Go high. Go high. Go high. Go high. Get up there. No! Stay in it! What are you doing? Why'd you lift? You had him. Junior was coming up and Jeff Gordon lifts off the gas. He's gonna he's gonna get stuck behind them here. How about Brian Vickers for the recovery? But not for long. He's stuck behind his teammate and Dale Jr. And now taking them three. Jeff Gordon still stuck. White flag in the air. One more time around for Jimmy Johnson. Looks like Jimmy will steal another win from Jeff Gordon here. And this definitely was Jeff Gordon's race to lose. So now, it's all up to Clint Boyer. What's Boyer going to do? Down the back straightaway for the final time? Absolutely nothing. Can't get the run going. Has no help from behind. It is all Jimmy Johnson. Look at that 48 car as he pulls away from the 07. Boyer trying to do something. Just can't do anything. Jimmy Johnson. Back to back years. Wins here from Michigan. He won this he won at this track the last season. Wins in it. Wins at it, or wins it again here from Michigan. Man, this might be Jimmy's place. Who knows? But that's going to do it. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Did hit the like button, subscribe. We'll see y'all next time. And until then, peace.